girls, it's Jamie. So I know you're probably in the throes of homework and tests now, so I wanted to come up with a craft for you that's not too complicated, not too expensive, and definitely not too time consuming. You've got enough on your plate already. So this week I'm going to show you a DIY that you're going to DIG with my string wall art. Let's do it, girl. For your string art, you're going to need some string. Surprise! I got this crochet thread at a craft store for just $3. I got it because it's not too thick, not too thin, and because there's over 300 yards of it to play with. You're also going to need scissors, paper and a pen, tape, a ruler, a hammer, a piece of wood, which you can get at a home improvement store, paint and paintbrush, and a box of nails. Make sure that the head of the nail is wide enough so that the string will wrap around it easily and not flop off. All right, let's rock and roll. Step one, think of a simple design for your string art. No need to make it too complicated here since it's going to be the string that's the attention grabber. I decided to go with the girl symbol because let's be honest, girls rule. Step two, draw your design onto your paper using your pen. You could also make your design on the computer or be like me and do a little bit of both. My symbol is pretty big so I'm using several sheets of paper that I've taped together. Once you have your final design, cut it out using your scissors. Step three, measure the size of your design in order to figure out how big your piece of wood needs to be. I went to a hardware store and had one cut for me. And here's what I ended up with. I chose particle board because it's the softest to nail into and it's the cheapest. I got this piece for just five bucks. And in case you're wondering, the measurements of my symbol was 15 by 22 inches and the measurements of my particle board was 16 by 24 inches. Step four, if the natural color of the wood doesn't really fit your style, feel free to paint it any color you like. I've got some leftover black acrylic paint so I'm going to use that for my particle board. Let the paint dry completely, which for my board took about 30 minutes. Step five, place your paper onto the wood with your design in place. Use your tape to keep the paper from moving off the wood. Step six, hammer your nails into the wood by following your pattern's outline. I'd recommend spacing the nails out about one inch apart. Keep an eye out to make sure that the nails are hammered in nice and straight and all ending at the same height. Nailed it! Step seven, remove your paper by ripping it carefully from the nails. The next step is to string this thing. Start by tying a knot around any of your nails. Then loop your string back and forth from one nail to another. There's no wrong way to do this, although I wouldn't recommend wrapping your string around the same nail too many times. Keep on stringing until you've achieved your desired look. Almost done! The final step is to outline your pattern with your string in order to make your design stand out. See, didn't I tell you it was going to be easy and affordable? I wasn't just stringing you along. Or maybe I was because I was using string and stuff. If you want to do this project in even less time and for even cheaper, feel free to use a decorated cork board and push pins. Maybe you even have some lying left over if you did my DIY from a couple weeks back. Or you can even use smaller pieces of wood, which will help you save on nails and string. We now have a fun and easy way to add simple beauty to your day. We did it, girl! I'm Jamie, and you're on Girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Ah, so many string possibilities! I'm getting stringed out. Strung down. Strung out. Anyway, maybe you even have some lying left over if you, if you, if you, if you, if you. If you. <sighs> there are nails. And there it fails. <laughs> and you just failed. <laughs>